is um, part of my testimony sp speech and everything else. And this poem don't have a title, but it's this is a whole bunch of different short stories into one a poem. So it goes like this. Once upon a time, not long ago, as you see in the picture, there's one male wearing red and the other in a wheelchair. And you would think that it's a story of Little Red Riding Hood in an urban way, which I was once Little Red Riding Hood because I was young, not dumb, but not even to some things. But I knew that I was David and at the time of my first trauma, I had three Goliaths. And I thought being an American, that my First Amendment would go off and score off the Goliaths, but it didn't. I fought just like Africa fought, not to be colonized, not to be raped, not to be pilled, but I got pilled and I got colonized. I got colonized the way that I got stuck with three used needles. And when I tell you that I lay in the alley that y'all see now today, or at least in that picture, I laid there and 12 years old, they told me something that you will never want to tell anybody in my community because they call it the package. They call it, oh, you about to be, you infected. And yet I didn't go to sleep with nobody. But yes, it's the three big words or letters. And that big word, well, it's the big word because now these days, and you can see it all the time on the TV, but HIV, I was because of those three used needles. Then next, growing on up and finding my truth, my great peoples tossed me a book, and James Baldwin was the author, and Jim Bonnamu it was, and they told me that I would be the next Langston Hughes somehow, but this is different because I was more like Malcolm X because I would bite the bullet and not go to the ballot like, you know, Shirley Chisholm said, but let's go forward. Now, going forward and going past, I went to a city, and that's where the black color lies at. Chicago was a wonderful place, and roots of brown, roots of anything that you want, and the city was wonderful, and you could stay in your power. Just like Fred Hampton in the movie, he stood for something, and I stood for something, too, because that night I couldn't let that lady go without her groceries and her being the elder and me being yet from Ohio and me yet being chivalrous because chivalry hasn't died yet. I helped her. And that same time, two boys, well, men, tried to rob us. And I was the one that got before the bullet. And as you see, like I told you, that red is going to have some kind of civilization or come talk with simple, I took it. And now I'm yet in a wheelchair, yet disabled, but yet I tell you this is my testimony. Even though that I had trauma once upon a time and I still went through it, I still can tell you tale of the two that you would think that it was Little Red Riding Hood that they took her basket and the wolf that couldn't be her friend but 